What's up guys, Chris VA Travels. <clears throat> Made it down here to Columbia, South Carolina. And I'm going to take a look at the home of a Virginia resident, uh, Woodrow Wilson, his family home. He, he lived down here for, for about four years. And yeah, this isn't it, but it's a crazy looking house uh, right next door. I thought I'd show off. Looks all right now, it's uh, used as a law office. But yeah, pretty gnarly looking. Pretty crazy chimneys up there. And there it is, Woodrow Wilson family home. And he lived there from age 14 until 18. Kind of hidden back behind the magnolia in this big conifer right here. And they're doing construction on the garden, it looks like. But uh, yeah, tour starts at about half an hour. And yeah, Wilson family home built. I also heard it was built in 1871, but in 71, 72, like I said, it lived here for four years and family moved down here because his father was a uh, reverend. He was a professor at the uh, Columbia Theological Seminary. Yeah, after living here, he went to college up in Princeton. And it's an Italian villa style house. See the arch door, arch window above that little porch right there. And take a look at this stone. Woodrow Wilson, yeah, World War I president. And yeah, that one says 71 to 74. And to let you know if you're here, you have to go up to the Robert Mills house to pick up your ticket. It's right across the street there to your left. side of it right there and uh, kind of cool rectangular uh, chimney there like I say more conifers and I'm gonna take a walk through there real quick okay back of it I see some plaques up there that back porch This thing is a China fur. Tommy, oh, and he, he went by Tommy back then. He was known as Tommy Wilson and bird's eye view of Columbia. And here we are right here, Wilson family home. And this is Sierra 1872. Got the windows boarded up right now. There wouldn't be much to see in the garden back there anyway. It's uh, January, so. Take a look at this. Fortunate survivor. Photo up here, 1913, 1920. And 1928, it was uh, saved from destruction by some activists. So. Yeah, you've got the dual arched windows up there. You see these octagon protruding rooms. On the National Register. There he is. Federal Land Bank, 1927. Yeah, Victorian by design. And I had read it was an Italian villa, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a Victorian style home. cool made it inside and the lady's gonna let me walk around which is cool and we've got a hat rack over here Sierra 1860 Walnut Hall tree and there he is Tommy Wilson at the time <laughs> and his parents Joseph and Janet Sierra 1870 and this is also uh, a, a museum for uh, the reconstruction period in the south here 
recovering from war. And uh, of course, about a third of Columbia was burned down. Of course, uh, Sherman's march through the city, but this residential area, nothing was damaged. So, and um, it actually prospered at, when it was rebuilt through the 1870s. Um, all right, down here, a cap, Kepi in Charlotte, Columbia. And this would be a $5 fare, it says F-A-R-E. And then the Wilson family rocking chair. Pretty neat, some interactive stuff, the bird's eye view. And yeah, all the uh, prominent buildings and homes it looks like in the area. Plain Street, Let's see a couple of these, uh, courthouse and post office. City Hall, 1871. Looks kind of like the same thing. Pretty cool fireplace right here. Oh yeah, and Tommy Wilson, AKA uh, Woodrow, said that the, uh, the town became three times what it was after it was rebuilt, like I say, after the war. The Bennett Institute. And his father, a Presbyterian preacher. And a calling card was customary back kind of in the Victorian area. So they give your calling card, your information when you visited somebody. And here is the family quilt. Pretty decent shape. Couple holes and a pew, I would imagine, from their church. Uh, side table right here and pretty cool gasolier. And these were popular in, again, Victorian era homes. Uh, they were made to run off gas, but they knew electricity was right around the corner. So they were made to be converted once the electricity was brought to town. And I've never seen one run to an actual lamp. That's kind of cool. A wicker chair. And there's Woodrow's uncle his mother's brother, and that's where he got his name. He was Dr. James Woodrow, and then when it, Tommy went to college, he just thought it'd be a much more distinguished name. He changed his name to Woodrow Wilson after his uncle. And there's a family Bible and Darwin's Origin of Species. There's a pew again, another cool, uh, cool fireplace. And the Columbia, Theological Seminary, 1910. All right. Backyard right there, preserving history. Uh, as I said earlier, 1928, it was preserved. And straight out back was the out, outdoor kitchen. And domestic service, obviously this was after uh, slavery, so they had servants. And the Wilson family, his parents never owned slaves, but the church they attended owned slaves, so they had a couple of slaves working through them through the church. And here's the pantry. Some desserts right there. And some pottery, alkaline glazed pottery. And some potatoes down there. And marketing of food. Pantry politics, all right. And then another another cool fireplace. Pretty cool front on that thing. And the statue over here. Uh, taking the oath and drawing rations. And it, it was this statue was meant to promote reconciliation probably wouldn't go over too well nowadays but it's a southern lady taking an oath so she can receive rations and uh, and reconstructing families and here's the family two of his sisters Mary they ended up uh, staying down here in Columbia raising families there's Woodrow, Tommy on the left, there's his father with the big chops right there, the big sideburns. And 
Yeah, just a bunch of photos of family members. Tommy's mother, Jesse. And here's the family sideboard. All right, moving on. Watch another video right here. And the American flag with 37 stars. Defy, yeah, he was a man of his times. He was a little, uh, he had some old school beliefs on uh, integration. Um, but he did uh, help uh, enact the 19th Amendment, uh, allowing the women to, the right to vote. So. And then, okay, we're back in the main hall. I think I'll just run upstairs real quick. Okay, on the back porch and a nice view of the uh, construction going on. <laughs> And, uh, but in the springtime, that should be a nice garden. And yeah, right across the street, the township auditorium was meant to be uh, built here. But in 1928, as I said, a group of women uh, helped to preserve it. And here's the map again. Here we are. And his father worked at seminary, it was kind of catty corner right there, which is now the Robert Mills house, a place you can visit. So, all right, kind of a little, I guess, entrance to the uh, parents' bedroom right there. And up here is, this was his bedroom. Tommy grows up. Over here, a uh, picture he drew of his greyhound. <laughs> Please touch, and I'm sure these weren't weren't his, but yeah, some fashionable shoes from the time. Oh yeah, all right. So here's the drawing of his dog, and this was his childhood hero, William Gladstone, Prime Minister of England. So there he is. And then over here to the right, his parents' bedroom and their bed. 1845, the most popular artifact. And then of course he's known for showing the birth of a nation in the White House. It was a movie, it was based on a book that was written by a colleague of his at Princeton. and uh, carpet bagger. These red shirt guys, that was basically the Ku Klux Klan, I guess, at the time. And yeah, it was actually, Birth of a Nation was kind of a blockbuster movie of the time. It had special effects that had never been done before. And it was never really said what his thoughts were on it, but his political opponents, of course, uh, used it against him. And then over here, yeah, watch another video and Wilson Dresser 1860 Renaissance Revival style and we got a rotating mirror and then of course he won the uh, Nobel Peace Prize actually for his uh, actions with World War One and he of course helped <clears throat> he helped form the League of Nations although we never actually joined See what's in here. Oh, and I guess this is nothing to be celebrated. This was worn by those red shirt guys. And they started out as rifle clubs that basically kind of just turned into militias. Yeah, and then there was the assassin, assassination of Republican Chairman Benjamin Randolph. Uh, a lot of corruption uh, going on back then. And yet, Wilson was really celebrated in the South. He was the first Southern Democrat elected uh, for a long time. It's kind of funny because he grew up in Virginia, South Carolina, and a little bit in North Carolina, but he lived his entire adult adulthood in, in the North. Um, went up to Princeton when he was 17, and pretty much uh, he taught there. And uh, he only came back to the South to, uh, to visit. 
and uh, reconstruction. Uh, South Carolina was pivotal. This is pretty much where reconstruction ended. There was a big race between Tilden and Rutherford B. Hayes. And pretty much, basically, uh, the South kind of cut a deal. They said, all right, we'll let Rutherford B. Hayes win if we can end reconstruction. This is the gist of, of how that went. So, all right. I'm take a walk in this room. And yeah, public schools started up after the Civil War by the Freedmen's Bureau. Obviously segregated. And this is a school bench, Sierra 1870. Uh, from an African American school off West Main Street. And yeah, like I say, uh, Columbia actually, uh, actually boomed after the Civil War, after it rebuilt. Um, before the Civil War, they say there were three churches in town. Uh, just after uh, Reconstruction, there were seven churches. University of South Carolina, which was actually integrated right after the Civil War, but after Reconstruction it ended, it became an all-white school. And, uh, and talking about uh, how some South Carolinians became black leaders. Um, and this William Sinclair became an administrator at Howard University. Some more of these. I don't know why I always like to show these off. Oh, some sort of uh, megaphone, speaking horn, public services. Uh, the most prominent state agencies in Columbia were mental hospitals in the penitentiary. All right. And here's City Hall and Opera House. Flyer right there, advertisement. And paint and wallpaper fragments. This is from uh, when after the Wilson family had sold the house. Over here, legislative desk from the South Carolina State House, uh, 1870. Okay, I'm on the back of his bedroom here. And the Democrats' choice, the pen and the pistol, the pen or the pistol. Okay, carpetbaggers, of course, Northerners came down here, took uh, advantage of the uh, economic problems after the war. Scallywags basically called, uh, thought of as traitors, Southerners that would vote Republican. And yeah, it's kind of odd, of course, uh, back then, uh, the Confederacy Southerners were Democrats, uh, Northerners were mostly Republicans. And it was like that uh, up until uh, FDR and his whole new deal when things began to change and then through the uh, civil rights uh, things and then it finally changed and it's how we are today. Um, all right, there's a governor and lieutenant governor uh, banner. That's it for the Woodrow Wilson family home. And I need to make a, a note to visit his birth home out there in Stanton. It's gonna wrap it up. I'll be back out here tomorrow and knock out a couple more houses and see ya. <laughs>